Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you 10 ways to do dripping paint nail art. Okay, let's get started. Method number one, dotting tool and stuff that are related to that. For this method, you can either use a dotting tool, a toothpick, a bobby pin, or these pins that I don't know what they're called. Take some aluminum foil, and I don't know why, but it changes the lighting for some reason. So, just apply the polish on it and dip the dotting tool inside. To create the dripping effect, stick the dotting tool to your nail and lift it up a little bit and drag it down all the way down to the nail. Do it a few more times and then connect the drips together. With this method you can create a different design every single time. It's easy for most people to use but I don't really get along with dotting tools so it's kind of hard for me. But it costs money so it's not like a no tool thing unless you're using uh, not dotting tools so it's free. Like if you use bobby pins or toothpicks or the pins that I don't know the name of. <laughs> Moving on to method number two, using a nail art brush. For this method you can use any brush that you want, I chose this one because it has a rounded tip, plus I didn't want to ruin my detailed brushes because polish ruins them. Again, take aluminum foil, put the polish on, dip the brush and just paint the drips by creating rounded lines on top, dragging it down and creating rounded lines and you can see. <laughs> Again, with this method, you can create a different design every single time. It's easy to do unless you're not good with freehand, so that's not the method for you. Moving on to method number three, nail polish brush. For this, all you need is nail polish. So take the polish brush and do the same exact thing as the dotting tool. All you have to do is stick the brush on, lift it a little bit, drag it down, and connect them together. Again, with this method, you can create any design that you want every single time, blah, blah, blah. It's free because you don't need anything else but nail polish. And it's a no-tool nail art, which I love. But it may not look that good and may not be easy if you're not good with freehand. Because you can see it's not perfect, but you can always fix with the base color. I just didn't do it because I was lazy because I had 10 different things to do, so yeah. Moving on to method number four, nail veil or liquid latex. For this method, you need nail veil or liquid latex that has a thin brush or else you can do it. Paint the outline of the drips with it, but be careful because if you mess up, you'll most likely need to redo the whole thing because if you don't do it fast enough, it will drag the whole thing that you did and it will ruin everything. Fill in the outline from the outside so it will be easier to remove. Paint the polish on your nail where you're supposed to paint it and remove it quickly and carefully. Again, you can create different design every single time, blah blah blah, and it may not be the easiest way, but it was really fun to do. I love putting nail veil everywhere that I can do nail art, it's so much fun, but it does cost money and if you make a mistake, you need to redo everything and if you're not good with freehand, it's not for you. Moving on to method number five, nail vinyls. For this method, you need to apply top coat before and wait for it to be completely dry. Then choose a drippy nail vinyl, peel them off, put on your nail, and make sure that it's stuck on properly by pressing on it with your finger. And then apply the polish where you're supposed to put it and quickly peel it off. This method is perfect for beginners because it's so so easy and it will always look the same. I put it in both sections because for some people it's good and for some it's bad. I don't really like it that it's always the same. It costs money and you need to apply a top coat before which for me I have to plan ahead for a few hours which I don't like. Moving on to method number 6, DIY vinyls. For this method you need to apply top coat before and wait for it to be completely dry. The only thing you need is a sticker 
and all you have to do is cut one out and sketch the drips on it in the size of your nail. After you're done, cut it out carefully and this part took like ever. When you're done, peel off the sticker and paste it on your nail however you like. Make sure that it's stuck on properly and apply the polish and quickly peel it off. With this method you can create any design that you'd like, it's kind of free because you probably have stickers at home and I think that it's kind of fun to do but yet challenging and kind of hard to do. It may not look perfect because it's hard to cut it and again you need a top cord before. Moving on to method number 7, stickers. I don't have any stickers at home but I saw a blog post on the awesome Cowless Polish once that she wore the stickers by Ciate, I think that's how you say it, and she said that the stickers are easy to use, so I think it's perfect for beginners, but she also said that it's hard to get it on the tips and that they don't fit, and you can also see in her pictures that it doesn't look that good on the nail because of the top coat and the bubbles, which is why I don't like stickers or nail wraps, and plus they cost money. Moving on to method number 8, DIY stickers. For this of course you need a sticker. I didn't have a turquoise sticker so we'll set it for that gorgeous neon pink. So flip the sticker so you won't stain the sticker and again just sketch the drips in the size of your nail and then cut it out. Peel off the sticker and stick it on your nail, cut the excess off and ta-da! Again you can create different designs every single time, blah blah blah, it's free and it's fun to try, yet it's not so easy to do. Moving on to method number 9, DIY stickers from Polish, the stupidest method that I've ever done related to drips. To create the polish stickers, all you have to do is take a plastic bag and paint polish on it in the size that you want. Give it a few hours to dry and when it's dry, carefully peel it off from the plastic bag and now comes the stupid part. Sketch the drip on it. Cut it and cutting polish to drips is seriously like the hardest thing I've ever done, ever. I mean, look how disgusting it looks, Blah, I wanna puke. Well, all I can say about this method is no, 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 don't do it. After that tragic accident, let's move on to a slightly less worse accident, the last method on this video, method number 10, stamping. The things that you'll need are a stamping plate with drips, obviously, a stamper and a scraper. Apply the polish on the plate, scrape it off, press on the stamper and shit. Okay, okay, maybe it's the polish, right? Maybe I need a stamping polish because it's too thin. Okay, let's try it again. And... Shit. Okay, 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 let's try it again. You put the polish on, you scrape it off, you press on the stamper and... No! Oh my god! Okay, just stay calm. Let's try a different plate. Okay, polish, spray, press and... It's perfect. Really? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's go back to the original plate again. Polish, scrape, press, and... Oh my god, are you kidding me? Ah! Okay, I'm not trying it again. I 
give up. Okay, so let's pretend that it actually worked and if it would have worked, stupid plate, then it would be easy, I hope. Perfect for beginners, again, it will always look the same and it costs money. So these are my 10 ways to do dripping paint nail art, except for the last two, so let's just say 8, not 10. Okay, so let me know in the comments below what more videos like this you'd like because I really love making videos like this. Hope you guys enjoy, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!